could start with the front of it and a little quick story of how I found it. Um, I was looking online, I think it might have been Craigslist um, for VW buses and this one in the title was really big saying 1979 automatic VW bus. So I found it in Arizona um, when I, or New Mexico, sorry. Found it in, in New Mexico. Um, I contacted the guy, uh, asked him a few questions, um, like does he have the title? It obviously didn't run in the photos, so I asked him how long ago uh, was it running, um, where he said it's been a couple of years. Um, so the title I asked and when's the last time it was running is what I asked. And then I also asked, do you know why uh, it stopped running? Like what was the symptoms or the issue when it stopped running? So that kind of tells me uh, how much I might be getting into, gives me an idea. So for example, if he said uh, the motor made a real loud noise and completely blew and smoke was everywhere and I towed it home and that's where it's been. Or was it like, well, like the, it would have a hard start in the morning and then the battery died out and then you know a couple weeks went by and then it just wouldn't start and then i just kind of been letting it sit like those two examples of what went wrong are two completely different things so one is like i already know it's like a full rebuild or something major and the other one could be the fuel pump just stopped working or it got clogged and then because the fuel pump went out eventually the battery died out and then eventually when you let a bus or any old car sit too long and now it's no longer just a fuel pump and a battery. It ends up being the gas tank's a little old or, or uh, uh, syrupy or the fuel injectors need to be clean. It's just like a, a domino effect of all the other things that'll start to go wrong when it's sitting. So I asked him that. Um, so he said sitting a couple of years, um, what he was explaining to me seemed like a fuel issue um, where it would run for a little while then die out or he would crank it and start and then it would just die out. So he never really got around to it. So um, he sent me a handful of photos. When I'm buying a bus, especially like in another state, so sight unseen, I always ask for um, a photo of the title. I'll ask for specific photographs that are not in the ad. Uh, random things that you probably have to own the bus to uh, to provide those photos for me and I do that in a way to kind of gauge like you know because I am buying it sight unseen uh, is this a real ad is this a real person uh, just to protect myself because in the past uh, little things can happen and you can lose a little bit of money by just trusting people and whatever going about it so I like to ask for like specific things so I asked for those photos he sent them all over no problem um, I also like to ask for a FaceTime video so I can actually see the bus. So we did that the following morning. Um, I was really excited when I found this one because for one, I'm in Southern California, New Mexico isn't that far. I think it was like a thousand dollar or less to have it transported here. Um, and then the price he had for it was pretty good. I was pretty excited about it. So the next morning called him FaceTime. He did a nice walk around of the bus. Um, it didn't look like this, of course. Um, it was orange, but it had, uh, I think like some stripes or something on it. And it had a little bit of rust uh, on the bus, of course, um, when we bought it. And, um, but I still loved it, it looked beautiful. When I did the FaceTime with him and saw that it was a real person and the bus was right in his front yard and he was walking around showing me everything, I'm like, oh, this is great, this is gonna work out. Like, so perfect. So the next thing was um, I sent him uh, a wire of the amount along with a deposit and I scheduled a transport company that I use all the time and we scheduled it out. Uh, they brought it to us within like a week or so and once we got it here, um, even though it didn't run, um, what I decided to do first was to get it to uh, the body shop to start doing the body repairs. Um, once they did all the body, um, after that, it went to uh, paint where what I wanted them to do is match the outside color, the original VW color, uh, with the inside. And they got all, that all done. And once it was out of paint, um, so paint and body was probably uh, an entire month 
uh, of time, maybe a little bit longer than that. And after that, it went to uh, the first mechanic who got it running for me. So when I dropped it off, I just basically told the mechanic, look, it's been sitting two years. Um, it'll crank over, but it doesn't stay on long. Go ahead and look through it and let me know what, what you think it's gonna need. So we did that. And the first thing that um, he had mentioned was, okay, we need a new gas tank. Uh, the fuel injectors were bad. The distributor needed to be replaced. Um, and a new battery, I believe. And other than that, everything else was pretty good. It's fired right up, it started. And it's been a really good running bus um, that entire time. Um, I've done some small uh, repairs along the way since I've had it. But for the most part, it's been running really well, um, especially right now because I just picked it up from Mechanic again, where they did some here and there, like things that are going to make the bus run like as it should, like properly, not like Mickey Mouse and just covered up and fixed, but actually running like the way it should and proper. So it's really, uh, I'm really excited about that. So um, if we walk around, I'll open up some of the doors. Um, so, like I said, the paint and body was about a month, maybe a month and a half. Um, after that, it went to mechanics so that it could actually be driving and rolling around. And then once we got it back, in uh, once we got it back uh, from mechanic, uh, all the stuff started getting put back together on it. Um, where I get a lot of this stuff is. Um, just places online that I found that seem to work out. They seem to have the best price. So like, for example, um, like even these tires, like I just do a simple like Walmart tire search, type it in, put the tire size that I want white wall. I think it just gives me a whole list of what's available and the best price. And they also ship it to you for free. So that's where I get the tires. Um, these panels, I actually get long sheets from Home Depot. Uh, I found out through buying like paying retail price on websites like VW websites that the material is the same exact material they use other than they cover it with fabric. So what I do is um, I buy this, I stencil it all out, cut it out and put it back in there. Sometimes we cover it with fabric, sometimes it's just a stencil. So that's where I get those. If you look on some of our other videos, you'll see uh, how I do it. Like I, I think there's a video where I literally walk to Home Depot, there's the price, they're like, 10, 11 bucks each. I have all the stencils for it, trace it out. I show you what kind of blade to get. And it just takes practice. It's like my first time trying to cut these was like, like all over the place. But now it's like a nice, smooth, perfect, like flawless looking panel. So that's where I get those. These, uh, the interior and stuff, over time I found like really great interior shops. So when, when this bus was on its way to the body shop, I took the seats out, I took the back seat out, and I just dropped these off at upholstery shop. It'll take them like a like a month. If you push them, you know, a couple of weeks. But usually I'm not in a rush because I know the body and paint are being done. So drop these off and he takes care of that, give them the color. And while it's also gone at paint and body, is when I start to order all the little extras, like this rubber uh, seat mat is really nice. I always like to put these on buses um, because when you buy a bus, like 99% of the time, this is like old and hard and cracked and it just doesn't really look that nice. And to put a nice new one on there is always the way to go for me, along with the uh, front rubber floor mats. We order those as well. Um, I don't have a website for that because um, I don't buy them on a website, I buy them wholesale. So if that's something that you're interested in or even this rubber floor mat, you can send us a message. We sell those too. Um, so I'll buy all the gear, the, the roll up windows. These are always cracked. These little handles are always cracked. These are cracked usually. These kind of hold up pretty well. So we'll use the same ones on that. We don't need to order it. Um, these things like the side mirrors the, the door handles uh, are usually replaced too same thing we buy them wholesale so we get we get all that stuff um, a lot of times I replace these too because um, these buses are so old and for some reason the key for the ignition 
almost never works for the door handles. It's like they either get lost or the door breaks and they buy another door handle from another bus and put it on. It's it's really kind of a funny thing like like when they when all the 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 door handles and stuff work for one key and I feel like it's like luxury to me. I'm like, "Wow, that's really cool. Like they all work for the same one." But usually you they're like several keys. Like so this is replaced. Uh, the ignition is also replaced. Um, and uh, the side rubber right here goes on new. All this stuff, all the side parts and the and the rubber seals and stuff, we buy all that stuff wholesale. So if you are interested in like getting something, you could just reach out to us and we could give you a price for like all the window seals, like the whole package deal. Or if you just need one, like that's where we get them. But like I said, things like the tires is Walmart. Uh, the door panels is Home Depot. Even the floor, I'll buy that floor there and just piece it all together. Sometimes I buy the rubber floor mat, but I'll do that too. The headliner also gets done um, after it comes back from paint. Uh, the reason why we do it after paint is because all the windows need to be out of the bus when you're putting a headliner in. So the, the best time is right after paint because the windows are out anyway and it'll go there. Headliner shop will go ahead and put all that in, comes back, and then the windows start going in it. Uh, so, fuel injected motor, all that means is that there's no carburetor there. Um, everything gets powered electronically through each injector on each side. Um, after all the services of, from buying this bus that was sitting for a couple of years not running, the services that I've done is a new battery, a new gas tank. Uh, the injectors were rebuilt. Um, the distributor right here is new and replaced. And um, there was a vacuum leak in one of the plastic hoses, so that was replaced. And there was also some like kind of fishy, like just DIY, DIY fix it yourself kind of stuff going on. So we got all that out and fixed it the proper way. Um, and then it's tuned up fully, timing, everything, airflow meter, everything's perfect the way it should be. So it cranks and fires right up, runs really well. Um, this is a 1979, so in California you have to smog cars like this. And um, get past smog, so it's a really nice, clean running bus. So. I'm not really sure uh, what else to add other than it's a really fun bus to drive and if you guys are looking for a bus, you can reach out.